I got this interesting question from one of my students and the question is if an examination has 20 questions for each question the marks that can be obtained are either minus 1, 0 or 4 and if S is the set of possible total marks that a student can score in an examination then we need to find total number of elements in set S. So that is if in a question, a student can get either minus one or zero or plus four, and there are 20 such questions. What are the possibilities of total marks that this student can score? So one way of solving this question is for each question, we know there are three possibilities. Either a student will score minus one or zero or four, and we can express it by this simple polynomial, which is either a student will score zero so which is represented by this term x to the power 0 or minus 1 or 4. So that is for each question there are three possibilities and which are 1, 1 upon x plus x to the power 4. So total number of ways of scoring on this question will be 1 plus 1 upon x plus x to the power 4 to the power 20. Now in order to find all possible total marks that a student can score, we need to find number of distinct terms in this expansion. Number of distinct terms in the given expansion. Now how do we find number of distinct terms in this expansion? So I cannot use that formula n plus r minus 1 c r minus 1 because it is applicable only when the variables are unrelated or distinct. So what I'll do is I'll write this expansion 1 plus 1 upon x plus x to the power 4 to the power 20 as x to the power 4 plus 1 plus 1 upon x to the power 20 and if I use binomial expansion I can write r varies from 0 to 20 20 CR x to the power 4 20 minus R and 1 plus 1 upon x to the power R. Now if I'll expand this series, I can write the series as 20 C0 x to the power 80 1 plus 1 upon x to the power 0 20 C1 x to the power 76 1 plus 1 upon x 20 C2 x to the power 72 1 plus 1 upon x whole square 20 C3 x to the power 68 1 plus 1 upon x to the power 3 and then plus this summation where r varies from 4 to 20 x to the power 20 minus r into 1 plus 1 upon x to the power r. Now here I'm not interested in the expansion of this series. So what I'm interested in is number of distinct terms. So what I'll do is I'll just count what are the powers of x that will be present in this expansion. So this expansion will have x to the power 80 then here we'll have x to the power 76 and if I'll multiply it with 1 upon x I'll get x to the power 75 then from this one now 1 plus 1 upon x it will have 1 1 upon x and 1 upon x square so here I'll get x to the power 72 x to the power 71 x to the power 70 now with 68 I'll have 1 1 upon x, 1 upon x square and 1 upon x cube. So here I'll get x to the power 68, x to the power 67, x to the power 66, x to the power 65. And here after we know that this r is greater than 4. So it will contain these four consecutive terms. So 1 upon x to the power 0, x to the power 1, x to the power 2, x to the power 3. So from here we'll get all the consecutive powers of x. So starting from 68, we'll get 
all the consecutive powers of x up to this 1 plus 1 upon x to the power 20 and there I'll get x to the power minus 17, x to the power minus 18, x to the power minus 19 and x to the power minus 20. So in this expansion, I'll have these terms starting from x to the power minus 20 to x to the power 68 and then we'll have these six more terms. So now I'll need to count number of distinct terms in this expansion. So I know that from 80 to 20, it'll be total 80 and then plus we also have x to the power 0 and then plus 20. So that's 101 and then minus what are the missing terms? Missing terms here are 77, 78, 79, 73, 74 and then x to the power 69. So that is there are six terms which are missing. So 101 minus 6. So that is 95. So the total number of elements in set S is 95. So there are 95 different possibilities in which the student can score in an examination.